has to do with ratios. That was more than yesterday. One of the questions apparently is on ratios. Ratios, we write them as fractions. So, a ratio is, let's talk again, the one I used before. How many students do we have in this class? Two, four, five, ten. We have twelve students in this class right now. How many are men? One, two, three. I count them because they're less. Four. Yes, I will include you. So, <laughs> that's four men. How many women? Twelve. Eight. Oh, was this correct? The word problem, Clara. Listen to the word problem. All right. So, eight women. So, if somebody asks you the ratio, it's how many to how many. The ratio of men to women is what? Who remembers? 4 to 8. Not point, no. It's 4 to 8. There are 4 men to every 8 women. Now, people, focus up here, please. Wait, what? 4 to 8. 4 men, 8 women. If somebody wants to know the ratio, there are 4 men in this class, 8 women. There's 4 men to 8 women. We either write it 4 to 8, we write it 4 colon 8, or we write it as a fraction, 4 to 8. Oh, okay. Now, once you make it a fraction, you reduce it. So, how would we... Does anybody see a number that goes into... Okay, so 2 goes into both, and 4. If you see right away, oh, it's 4. 4 goes into 4, 1. 4 goes into 8, 2. It's 1 to 2. So what that means is, for every one man in this room, there are two women. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think you want it the other way, Claude, but I'm not sure. Uh, who am I to say? All right. Now, let's say when you're reducing, if you don't automatically realize that four goes into both those, what do we do if both the de uh, numerator and uh, denominator are both even? What can it always be divided by? Two. Two. So you say, okay, so two goes into four, two. That's two goes into eight, four. Numbers. Good. Oh, wait a minute. I see we can do it again. So it may take you two steps. One and a half. Uh, I'm sorry, one half. That's, that's on camera. Uh, one half, all right? <laughs> so it's one half. It reduces to that. Remember, you're going to do it in two steps. But this is why. It's good if you don't know your multiplication tables, because if you know that 2 times 4 equals 8, you could reduce it quicker. So the ratio is 1 to 2. So the answer to this problem is when they give you the numbers of the total students and the men and the women, and you figure it out, there are 4 men to every 8 women, 4 to 8, 4 over 8, or they may ask you, listen carefully, to reduce it. They want you to reduce your ratios so the answer is really 1 to 2, or 1 to 2, or 1 uh, colon 2. But they don't have that colon on the graph. On so the what are you going to do then? Use the decimal. You, no. Right? There's no decimal here. I'm saying on the grid. Oh, so you use the slash. Yeah. No, it's not 4.8. That's a whole different number. I've got a question. The only two, I want to take a break. I just want to finish slash. the thought with Lisa. So again, there are three ways you can write a ratio. 4, the word 2, 8, 4, colon 8, 4 over 8. The only option you have on a grid is the dividing, the slash. So that's the way you have to write it. Don't put decimals in where they don't belong. Yes, Fred? If you got an answer, like, um, like the answer I got from number 2 is uh, totally different than um, how would you write that? You got, like, you got 1, then you got the 2 slash, the mean a number, a fraction. I'm not, I talk about number two here? Yeah. All right, so dinner, you want to do, well, okay, I'll tell you what, you want to just do it? Yeah. Let's do it, baby. All right. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out how you, um, how you write the answer. I like the answer. All right, well, okay, so. Fred, read us the problem, please. If then a nil pays $17 and same pays 15 what is the ratio of the amount paid by same to the amount paid by same and nil together? Okay, so we have two pieces of information. Neil paid how much? Seventeen. $17. And what Sam paid how much? Fifteen. So how much total was it? Thirty-two. Okay, so they want to know the ratio of what Sam paid to the amount paid by both. So what is the answer? It's uh, two point 
No, no, no. Take it from these numbers first. Let's not reduce it. David? 32, 15. Other way around. 15, 32. 15, 2, 32. It is the ratio, and they give it to you first. Amount paid by Sam, the first one, to the amount paid by both. And that brings up a good point, David, what David just did. Remember our men to women ratio? Four men to every eight women, or one man to every two women? They may ask you, what's the ratio from women to men? So read the word problem. If they say women to men, what's the ratio? <laughs> Come on, guys. Women to men. Two to one. Yeah, there we go. Two to one. <laughs> or eight to four. Okay? If they say men to women, it's four to eight or one to two. So that was a good mistake to make, David, because we learned from it. It says, what is the ratio? paid by Sam to the amount paid by both. So it is 15 to 32. So, how are you going to put it in your grid, Lisa? 15 slash 32. Why 32? Okay. Oh, I tried to even re to reduce it. Can you reduce this? No. Because there's a the remainder. The only numbers that go into 15 are 3 and 5. Do either of those go evenly into 32? No. no. So you can't reduce it. So it's 1, 5 slash 32. Make sense? Yeah. 